Hi, everybody. It is Tuesday, April 21st, and um, we're going to do a little bit more with rhetorical analysis today. I'm going to cut right to the chase and try to make this a super short video, um, but a quick reminder for you. Don't forget that if you do, um, if you don't have a lot of missing work in the class, that is uh, fewer than two assignments missing right now since we started online learning, that tomorrow all you have to do is come into Schoology here and do attendance. Otherwise, if you do have more missing work, then check your emails because you'll be getting an email from me with a special screencast about how to make up work. Okay, um, so let's take a look at what we're going to be doing today. So if you take a look at your Schoology page, you will see that at the bottom of today's folder, there will be a determining strategies and sections test quiz, um, which again is I'm only doing them as test quizzes. I don't want you to freak out because it's a test quiz. I'm only doing them that way because um, the Google Docs connection with Schoology isn't really working that great. So um, we are going to be looking at strategies today. So I have given you once again, each of the sections of um, Anne Howard Shaw's eulogy for Susan B. Anthony. And yesterday you determined what the purpose of each section was. Hopefully I will have those um, reviewed, but either way you can still go into your grade book the way I showed you to on Monday, access, like click on the little blue link for that and you'll be able to review the, the answers that you submitted yesterday. But hopefully you remember what you said your purpose was of each section. So what you're going to do today is you are going to list the strategies that you believed helped her achieve that purpose and explain why they help achieve the purpose in like a sentence or so. Then I want you to go back and put an asterisk next to the strategy you believe is the best one of the section. So I am going to show you how to do that really quickly with random strategies that are probably not in the section. So do not copy my answers. So let's say you find a simile in the section. Simile in the section. So you're going to write simile and you're going to say um, this achieves the purpose of grabbing attention because it is an interesting, interesting comparison that makes the audience consider the connections be between um, liberty and free pie. <laughs> Please don't copy this. All right, then you're going to find another one. So maybe you find a section where there is um, imagery. So you're going to say when Shaw describes the flag as a um, rippling fabric and etc like other examples of imagery it uh, gets the audience's attention and reminds them why they are celebrating Anthony's life. And you find one more. So maybe it's anaphora. The repetition of the words blah, blah, blah help the audience really focus in on being present to celebrate. Okay. Then once you've listed like as many strategies as you can find in the section, 
go back and you're going to decide which strategy you think is the best one and you're going to put an asterisk in front of it like that and then you will submit the question then you go on to the next question okay so hopefully that gives you kind of an understanding of what you need to do to complete that that is your only assignment for today is to go in find rhetorical strategies i should have done that way <laughs> find rhetorical strategies um, connect those strategies to the purpose, explain them a little bit, and then asterisk the one that you think is the most important one in that section. Okay? If you have any questions, you've got comments and discussion and things like that that you can add into this folder that I can come back to and look at, or you can email me, or you can text me a reply on Remind. Either way, I will get back to you. Hope you have a great day. Stay out of trouble. Um, be nice to your parents and, um, I don't know, stay healthy. <laughs>